All right, transitive and intransitive verbs. All right. Um, so, verbs are classified as transitive or intransitive. A transitive verb, uh, transit meaning to carry as in a rapid transit, requires an object to complete its meaning. The object of a transitive verb is affected, however, slightly by whatever the verb expresses, such as the hammer struck the anvil. The object anvil has been hit. John has a horse. The object horse is owned. An intransitive verb makes an assertion without requiring any object. Example, the clock strikes. Um, the bird, sorry, the bird is on the fence. All right. A linking verb, a special kind of intransitive verb, is one that connects the subject to a noun, pronoun, or adjective in the predicate. Okay, um, for example, the bird is a blue jay, or rather, it is is I. So now we see the linking word very common. The linking verb is connecting the subject to a noun, pronoun, or adjective. Here we see it's a noun, here we see it's a noun once again. Um, the most frequently used linking verb is to be. Other commonly used linking verb it are um, become, um, seem, smell, uh, look, grow, feel, sound, get, taste, and appear. Many verbs are both transitive and intransitive. A good dictionary will indicate differences in meaning. For example, in the hammer strikes the anvil, the transitive verb strike means to hit. In a sentence, the clock strikes. The intransitive verb strike means to sound. The transitive and intransitive meanings of the same verb may be similar, but they are never identical. The statement he breathes means that he is alive, but he breathes the mountain air refers to an experience he is having.